Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Benjamin Shipper. I'm a cartoonist, a writer, and artist of my own graphic novels. Um, my first book, Joe Death and the Graven Image, is coming out next year, 2023, from Dark Horse Comics, and it is available for pre-order. Um, it is a cartoon adventure of epic proportions, and I'm so excited for you all to be able to get a physical copy in your hands uh, next year. Um, if you do want to buy something from me right now, support uh, me and this channel and go to my website and uh, purchase this uh, zine about tractors <laughs> and um, essentially about cartooning. Um, uh, it's uh, not a tutorial, but there is uh, a lot of cartooning kind of fun in, in here. Um, and uh, check it out, benjaminshiver.com. Um, and sign up for my newsletter. Um, you're going to get uh, all the most important uh, secret news from my newsletter. It goes out weekly um, if the trains are running on time. And um, But today we're going to talk about um, Daniel Warren Johnson, more specifically this little comic uh, that he made called Green Leader, um, star, some Star Wars uh, fan fiction that um, actually ties into another series of videos that I'm running about um, my ebook adventures uh, pitch um, that I'm creating. First of all, you may hear uh, some children yelling in the back. Um, I'm not gonna apologize for that. I'm just gonna state it out, out front so I don't <laughs> get nervous about it later. Um, my wife has a friends, friends over and um, our kids are playing together and I uh, love hearing them play. So it's a, it's a good thing. I just wanna acknowledge it before it gets weird, all right? Um, so let's jump in. Daniel Warren Johnson. Oh man. Uh, if you know me, you probably know him. Um, uh, he is, uh, burning up the charts with his comics, um, that he writes and draws. Um, and he's, he's the full deal. Uh, and he's been just had a stellar lift off and, and he continues to fly, uh, at very high altitudes. <laughs> um, so this was his uh, first first book. It, was, it began as a web comic, and it was called uh, Space Mullet. And it, it was eventually picked up and published by Dark Horse Comics. I'm going to show you just a few of the few of the first pages. You're probably going to hate this. Or you're going to hate me doing this, but um. And uh, he sort of talks about it here in the intro, about um, kind of wanting to wanting to redraw those those first pages because he got just incredibly good uh, through this comic and definitely into his, his latest comics. So he, he is just uh, improved uh, significantly from when he started this. Um, so early stuff, uh, great story, great characters, uh, better than the art. <laughs> um, the writing is really engaging and the characters are really fun. Uh, the emotion and the heart of, of the whole story and the characters just just work uh, tremendously. And I think that that's uh, possibly his greatest skill um, is writing, uh, which sounds stupid because his, his art is uh, equally amazing. It's, it's great. But I think when you're thinking about cartooning and comics, you don't want to divorce the two. You, you've really got to think about uh, both. And if you can do both well, uh, you, you are you're breathing rare air up there. Um, and he is up there. Um, and, um, check out that one. He, he went on to do, uh, extremity, um, at image comics. Um, another fantastic, uh, creator owned, um, uh, property. Um, that he, he did, uh, straight out of his, straight out of his head. Um, and, uh, he went on to do murder Falcon as well. Uh, with uh, Skybound and Image, um, and he's done you know other stuff <laughs> with with the big two, and um, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in Star Wars, and we're interested in um, how do you both contribute to a property that you really like, and also create something that is for your fans, and um, and that's going to delight them, and also how. Uh, improve your own, um, improve your own skills. Um, so these type of projects, as you'll find, uh, on my, my other set of, uh, ebook adventure videos, 
Um, there's a lot of things happening when a creator does uh, a work of fan fiction like this. I wasn't hired by any publisher that had the license to Star Wars. Uh, he just did this. I think it's about maybe eight pages, but um, it's fantastic. Uh, I think he just maybe I think he either sold it or just gave it away at conventions um, as a, like a stocking stuffer or something. But uh, lots of people talk about this book, um, and uh, I think I think it holds uh, still a special place in in his heart. And I've heard him reference it before, but. Anyway, we're, we're just gonna jump in. Um, he's taking, uh, he's taking, a th he's pulling on a thread that was in Return of the Jedi about two um, rebel pilots as they take on the evil black empire. And uh, I met him at Charlotte Comic Con, uh, sorry, Heroes, Heroes Con in Charlotte, North Carolina. And really nice guy, signed some stuff that I had and um, so he's really uh, strong on emotion, um, character emotion, really strong on um, visual storytelling. And this actually has no words in it, um, which was uh, fantastic. So open up, brings us to a scene that we all know intimately, waking up, uh, getting out of bed. We know what that posture looks like. Uh, we absolutely know what that posture looks like and what it implies about the character's internal uh, thoughts. <laughs> and um, it just it continues that way where he's, he's, his face is in shadow. And um, we see now his, uh, his partner um, with the hand on his shoulder, her look uh, to him and their uh, embrace um, implying something heavy is, is coming. And uh, it, it continues that embrace. So that, that transition is fantastic. Uh, without clothes, now fully fully garbed for um, a flight on a flight uh, on the Empire against the Empire. And zoom back, get get the tone and the really classic uh, scene of Star Wars. This is you know Star Wars gold here, where um, just people in flight suits and helmets running around ships. I mean, like it's. It's so good. It's so, um, it preps you for something. It's the waiting room of, of the adventure. And um, got some nice like film filmography kind of thing where it's sort of like a, a rolling film tape um, where it's like, tru, 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 tru. Um, it's very, yeah, it's good cinematically to have the shot. If you think about it, shot and cut and shot and cut. Um, and, uh, Really nice, like we see him, we see her, they're in their ships. Uh, one's in the A-wing and another in the X-wing. Um, and we got the opposition, TIE Fighters. Boom. Sorry, skipped ahead. All right, big, uh, big splash. And that is a, a fierce fight uh, going on. Small likelihood of um, them coming out of alive. And their uh, their eyes are important. He's looking ahead on the mission. She's looking over at him um, as they swoop down on the Superstar Destroyer. And uh, he lines up a shot on the, on the cockpit of a uh, massive Superstar Destroyer. And she gets it. She gets it on the side of her X-Wing. He sees it and uh, freaks. And she uh, blows up, <laughs> X-Wing blows up. Um, really, you know, sad. I mean, it's like, you feel you feel more of the tightness here in your chest, I think. Like, um, it's, it's like saying goodbye to someone uh, at the airport and you, you don't know if you're ever gonna see them again. Um, and, uh, she explodes and he, uh, in that, in that split second, you know, it's happened super fast in the movie. So this is a movie, a scene. This actually happens in the, in the movie. And so he's teasing it out and showing, showing who is in those cockpits and all three of them in the, 
um, X-Wing and the A-Wing and in the Super Star Destroyer. And um, we get that kind of trinity of people and interactions um, and uh, a split second death. And he, uh, he takes his own life and, and blows up the uh, Super Star Destroyer as well. And um, totally, totally relatable. Like, you know, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm certainly not um, thinking uh, suicide is a good idea if you lose your loved one, but in, in, a, in a battle scenario, in a situation where you just lost your, uh, your other half, um, this is totally, totally understandable. And um, he gives himself over to the force, as it were. And uh, that that pivots the whole um, the whole engagement, and the battle is essentially over um, when the super star destroyer hits the um, hits the second Death Star, and uh, we see that reflected in the uh, leader of the opposition of the rebels, Admiral Akbar, Bar, and um, this is this is the crowning achievement of the comic, and of course, this is the last page. We're back at their room, and we zoom into that picture that's on the wall, and um, we see them uh, encapsulated, uh, immortal, um, in this image, um, and that 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 is like very very powerful stuff, very strong uh, stuff. Um, especially for anyone that knows what it is to uh, actually lose someone. Um, that image of, of past happiness, uh, but now in the present, it's this interesting touch of um, immortality, I think, and transcendence. So, oh man, that is, uh, I think this is great. Um, and uh, that is uh, Daniel Warren Johnson, Green Leader. Um, and his other books, check them out. Uh, I'm sure you already have. Um, but uh, do stay tuned and check out um, my uh, Ewoks <laughs> comic pitch uh, series. Um, kind of going off the cuff, but I'm... Uh, did I show this page? Oh, no. Anyway, I think I skipped over this page. I'm going to leave it here. Um, but check out my, my other videos on uh, the Star Wars... Um, Ewoks comic pitch that I'm developing, making. Um, no, no clue if it'll work or if I'll, if I'll uh, get to do a comic with the license holders, but um, because I, this necessarily wasn't, um, this was not published by anyone with the, the license holders to Star Wars. So uh, I, I think, I'm not exactly sure why he hasn't done a Star Wars uh, show, or sorry, comic book yet. Um, Maybe because he's not interested in any any of the new uh, stories or characters, um, and uh, but anyway, uh, so don't know why don't know why exactly he hasn't been like uh, immediately tapped by one of the license holders for the Star Wars comics to do something, um, but uh, but the real power and worth of it is just doing it and um, and as a personal practice. So he did that. That's what I'm doing with, um, with, uh, Ewoks. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for stopping by, checking out the channel and, uh, I'll see you next time.